We could say procedure from today was something like um, the hard trial for, for going to Kenya and do procedure with the northern white rhinos there. The only way how to survive for the non white rhinos is to learn how with this embryo we could put it into a surrogate mother and we will work again with the females in the European zoos to optimize the technique for this. Success today would be to harvest as many as, as many as all sites as possible and to successfully send them to laboratory and get them fertilized. Uh, Hope is actually the best donor we have in Europe so far. So I hope there will be a number of oocytes that we harvested would be around 10, maybe even higher. If it is higher, it's, it's a really great number. Yeah, I think, yeah. a little bit from the syringe, one cc from the syringe. Yeah, it's a little bit like uh, rocket science because there's no, uh, uh, no example which we can follow because we are the first in this field. We developed everything from scratch and so in the beginning we had some ideas which didn't work. So we optimized equipment, we changed equipment, we changed the procedure. But now we are quite confident that we have a very safe, very effective technique to harvest oocyte in such big animal like a southern white rhino or northern white rhino.
So uh, the two females sleeping down are the two northern female white rhinos left on the planet. It's a mother and a daughter and uh, the one facing us is the southern white rhino. The one which is awake is the southern white rhino of which we might use as a surrogate mother. And next to her is the youngest female uh, of northern white rhino called Fatu. She's 17 and uh, her mother is called Najin. Next to her, Fatu is a uh, 27 years old female.